guys. Mail day in this box contains the ninja rig. Then here we go. Let's take a look. Awesome. Can't wait to get this bad boy put together. Try it out. Looks like we got the classifier. Extra side here is the banjo pen. Push the legs. Get this thing up high enough where we can not have to bend the legs. Angel Pan Dream Mat. <laughs> that matting is awesome. Angel Pan, what do you say? And the heart of this thing is a bucket. Inside the bucket is pocket sleeves. Yeah, it goes on the, the very end. And then, uh, oh, still in the package, brand new. That hose to put it together. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to see what I can do about getting this thing put together. And uh, very, very nice looking unit so far. Uh, yeah, looking forward to running it. All right, so I got my ninja rig set up for the very first time. Um, you can look at it and see nothing's been run through it yet. Haven't even turned it on. You're gonna get to experience this for the first time with me. Battery set up. Uh, fix me up. I don't know how well this is gonna work. We'll see. A little recirculation system for the water. Uh, I got water in the tub, and I set a five-gallon bucket at the end of it. The material that runs through the machine should drop right out of this into the five-gallon bucket. So I don't have material all in my water here, and it's full of water, so that water will just flow out to continue to recirculate the water. But I have to fill the five-gallon bucket up full of material before I get dirty water. So at least that is my hope anyway. Uh, there's my pump. I haven't hooked it up to the battery yet, but I'm fixing to do that right now. And uh, you'll get to see the very first water. They run through this machine since I've got it. There we go. And here it comes. Oh man. You can see how that water circulates, kind of creates a vortex there. That ought to be some kind of lovely for I'm mixing up material. I got a bucket of dirt here, about, I don't know, probably half of a five gallon bucket. Uh, you can see how. Water's running down there nicely into my bucket. All that's working so far with no material in it, like it's supposed to. All right, I'm gonna get the camera set up on a tripod where I can actually run some material. Let's see what we get. Doesn't take long at all for this old clay out of Georgia just to make everything muddy. That's the downside of it. But, but you can see we still got really good water flow. I'm gonna hook the pump and let's see what we end up with here.
Getting through. And again, I don't uh, don't know anything about. Uh, this dirt Ooh. better than I just got soaked. Watch it when you turn it on. It's cold today in Tennessee. This water is like ice. But I wanted to try this thing out. See what happens. Georgia red clay. Mm, it is a mess. And the way this you can tell is kind of creates like a vortex the way it goes around, I guess. You can see occasionally the hole open up where it's sucking down the middle. That's just pulling all that material around. You're going to see now that I got it set up right. Let me mention something else on this. If you guys decide you want to buy one of these, it's a whole lot different than going and buying a rig in the store. Because uh, this dang rig that makes these things, he's going to be there to help you after you buy it. It ain't like you take your money and runs off and you don't get from anymore. He spent uh, quite a bit of time with me working through just teaching me how this works and how to do it and, and uh, you know what all we're doing so I didn't have this uh, this pan level to start with so it wasn't swirling exactly right but now we got that thing level and it's it is doing the job man so if you decide you want one of these uh, like I said, you don't have to worry about Mr. Reed. He's going to be there to, to help you even after he, after you've purchased it. He's still going to help you uh, work through it. And, and it'll be there after the sale to support you. All right, guys. I thought I had it right. When I backed off, I actually come back and got to look at this thing. I realized I still was at level. You can see the difference in the hole that we've created here now versus what we had a minute ago because I've got it level. It'll even spin the classifier. Let's do another scoop, wait a second. Let's put 
put a couple more in there and see what happens. Mucus. It's just a red clay. Okay. See how fast the hole opens right back up when I do that? Because this pan is level now, or closer to it. Uh, wow. When I backed off from it, I realized I still had the front legs of the machine. And the reason that I put the front legs out is I was trying to get more angle on the banjo pan. Uh, but that's not how you angle the banjo pan. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute when I, when I get done here. But, uh, I mean, the amount of material... Uh, this this is old nasty red clay stuff, and it's just uh, I mean you can see you can see how big the hole is there now that I actually got this thing right, and I am just super happy. Now I, I mentioned earlier, I'll say again, this is straight um, just Georgia dirt. I mean I I, I don't. There's no guarantee there's anything in this. It's come from a, a known gold producing place, but I, I don't know if there's any gold in this or not. I have not run it. Uh, I dug it right out of the ground, put it in a five gallon bucket, brought it home, and it's been waiting on my ninja rig to get here. But Wow, look at that. I'm gonna do something else here right quick. I'm gonna unplug this thing, shut the water off to it, let it go down. And you're going to see, you've seen that nasty stuff, what's actually left in the pan here, now that I got it right. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Now you can see, when I cut it off the last time, the reason I thought I still had issues is all my water was up here. But now you can see it's more... It's more level. Well, we got a few little rocks, but I mean that's that's basically it. No, uh, a few little small pieces of of rock. There's there's virtually nothing here. I mean, just tilt it, run the water around so you can actually see. And the only place there's one little piece and a little bit built up on the backside here, but not not anything to speak of at all. Wow. That's awesome. Ninja rig. All right, guys, I told you when I started, I didn't know anything about this dirt, if there's anything in it or not. But we got a speck. Yeah. Um, there was nothing in the tailings. I, I panned the tailings, didn't find anything in them. And, you know, we're dealing with some really, really fine gold in this just nasty red clay. Um, but yeah, we got a speck. I'm pretty excited about that. Now let me show you real quick here um, what I was talking about on adjusting this banjo pan. I hope you can see this okay from where the camera's at. Uh, <laughs> Daniel come up with this uh, way to hold it, which is just a, a wing nut on a screw there that's mounted on the side of the bucket, okay? And when you put this banjo pan in, and this sets down on top of the screw, you can adjust the angle of your banjo pan by how tight you put the screw. I mean, now it's it's all the way, all the way against that plate. That's the least angle I could possibly run it on. But I can just put the screw on and lift it up and that's going to give me more of an angle so that's where I needed to be adjusting the angle and you can see the vortex it give me uh, like I said man this Georgia stuff is some kind of nasty but uh, this machine will run it <laughs>